Hey Luke here with CatsAndCarb.com and me and my boy Tommy and my buddy Jeff are going to meet up with some friends down in Virginia. We're going to be catching some monster grass carp from the bank and we're going to be doing some overnight camping as well. So it's going to be a, a overnight camping fishing trip with my boy and friends and i am really been looking forward to this. Man look at all this crap and I've got to get it in there. I think we're packed. All right, tell me you back there? Yeah. All right, man. <laughs> we were ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> let's let's do it. this. We don't cows and the donkey. They go woo, bark, bark. What do we got? We got eight double cheeseburgers, three McChicken sandwiches, 20 chicken nuggets, fries, apples. We got just about a little bit of everything in here. Oh, look at that. Look at Tommy. Geese. <laughs> Since I'm gonna be doing a lot of overnight fishing, I brought my Signet rod pod and my Delcom bite alarms. Also, I'm fishing with a pack bait made from breadcrumbs, strawberry jello, and sweet corn. You pack a ball of it around your lead, then tuck a hair rig with a bit of fake corn in there, and then you spike the fake corn with a little bit of this corn de goo, this pineapple scent. It's a great effective technique for both carp and catfish, and in states that don't allow chumming, this is often a legal alternative because the bait is attached to the hook and not just being thrown into the water. Instantly. Nice, man. 14 and a half, man. Oh, yeah. Swim off strong. I'm going to hold it. All right. I want to hold it. Got me. Did he spine you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he barely grazed me. It's All right, man. Let's get it back in. All right. Hey, hey Tommy, you, you, you want to throw him in? Here, careful, careful. Throw him in. Spicy one. Throw, him, throw in. him in, Tommy. I don't like throwing by the stick. All right, that did it. All right. What's the verdict? 18. 18. Well, that's a beautiful 18. My name's Brandon. I have a YouTube channel, Team Wildwater. I saw that video of yours, man. You guys tore it up. Appreciate it, man. You set my expectations super high, though. Well, I hope we can catch some bigger than that. There's some big ones in here. Well, it started off with a rush, man. We just got a few half our rods in, and, and uh, you've had two on, one on the bank. Yeah, one on the bank. We had 18. Jeff got him a 14. Yeah, I think it was a 14 and a half. Yeah, look at that. He's trying to he's trying to rob you of a half a pound there. <laughs> now this right here is good old American Pay Lake rod holders, man. Good welded iron. These things won't break on you. And they can hold a, a, a the bait caster or a multiplier reel for you Europeans out there. Pay Lake fishing is really big down in, in the Carolinas, especially North Carolina. A lot of people ask me if you can carp fish with bait casters. Everyone down in North Carolina will tell you, yes, you can. <laughs> yeah. Now that's the, that is the way to fish for carp down in North Carolina. Big pack baits, pack bait. you know, puffs. That's another big one. Like yeah. everyone likes to fish with puffs and a little bit of scent on there, and and uh, these really nice strong um, uh, rod holders. And they're nice too because when you get a nice screaming run, you'll see a rod tip pop up. It's starting to get dark already. I think we need to take a nap. Okay, well we'll get the tent up here in a little bit and then we can go and if you want to take a nap you can go sleep in the tent. It's like a three-tier name. I got you. I'm in the tent, Daddy. You're in the tent. So let me show you what I'm using to not catch any fish so far. I've got the uh, little Fox method feeder here. It's a 28 gram method feeder. Got these little fins that help keep the the pack bait tacked in really nice. Got a little Corda helicopter sleeve that slides down over 
my quick link to keep it from coming off and to keep it from jamming up in the uh, in the feeder. I've got about four or five inches of 20 pound leader, uh, number four quarter capture. I got a little two pieces of fake buoyant corn and uh, um, I've got 20 pound spider wire main line, Fox Warrior S 2.75 pound test curve 12 foot rod and I've got the Witchwood Exorcist bite and run reel. Got him? Yep. Nice. nice. It's a decent fish. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice one. Oh yeah. There you go. Oh. <laughs> Not out of Woo! Yeah, I'm feeling better. <laughs> Oh, barely. Wow, that really just popped out of there. 26 and a half. Oh, nice. nice. Not bad. All right. That's awesome. That's awesome. Thank oh, you. There you go. Got him. Any fish that can grow scales that size, I want to catch. Okay? I don't care what bad things you say about this fish. If its scales are that big, I'm going to catch it and I'm going to have a ball doing it. Yeah, look at that. Holy man. Excuse me, sir. I might have to go reel in another one. Oh, man. <laughs> oh there we go. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's a beautiful catfish. And that's why they call it cats and carp, baby. <laughs> Look at that, nice channel cat. And those catfish love that ponco bait. See, this is why it's always catfish and carp, man, because you don't fish for carp without catching some great catfish. And isn't it true? I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, that's how it is. <laughs> hey, you know, carp fishing is the best kept secret in catfishing. Right there, learn to count, catch carp. You'll catch better catfish. All right. Okay, you see I've got this little knot on my line? That helps you gauge your distance. So when you cast out to a spot, you catch a fish, and you want to go and cast, recast to that same spot, I've got this little knot on my line that tells me what the correct distance is. So I stand in the same spot every time, and I aim for the same point on the horizon every time, and then I make sure that knot ends up in the same place every time, and that'll put your hook back in the same place every time. Is this your, is this your setup? Yeah, yeah. Some good looking rods. Yep, I got uh, some Abu Garcia reels with uh, seven six ugly sticks, GX2s. I got some 20 pound um, you know, highlighter green monofilament. So, they work out, work, pretty, work really well. Uh, they're not that, not that expensive. No, no, the GX2s are good affordable mm -hmm. rod, and as we recently learned, a fairly strong rod. Yeah, oh yeah. These run, I think, they might be cheaper now, but I think they're about 40, 40 a piece. And I got the reels for about, I think I got one at Bass Pro for 80, then I found another one on Amazon for about 65. I see you using those nice Pay Lake uh, rod holders. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah, I picked those up down in uh, Gaston County area, North Carolina. Yeah, now look at that, you got the high-vis yep. line. Yep. And the carp, that doesn't bother the carp at all, does it, man? Those guys down in North Carolina use high-vis <laughs> line all the time, all don't the they? Time. <laughs> all the time. All the time. It's pretty much everybody's just using highlighter yellow, or green, yellow, or some orange. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It's real, real popular. You know, and having a good, good, clear leader, I think, is important. But mainline, go for it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Always listening for those clickers. That, that's the best sound in the world. Is some, some clickers are going on. Mm. <laughs> it's beautiful, huh? Yeah, it's not too shabby. Yeah, it's outstanding. Right around sunset, I wanted to throw out some more chum, so I have a little bit of extra bait working out there overnight. I put about a half a bucket of feed corn, a whole box of strawberry jello, and mixed it all up. So these uh, kernels were all covered up in the strawberry uh, jello, which the carp really seemed to love. And I take this landing net handle and I screw in a baiting spoon and I just scoop a bit of it up and throw it like a lacrosse stick. Uh, and it's just a great way of chucking out a lot of bait pretty uh, quickly.
For these pack baits, you don't always need a method lead. You can use all sorts of different types of leads, inline leads, non-inline leads, and different flavors of cordagou, whether it's corn flavor, pineapple flavor, tutti frutti, or whatever. It all seems to work pretty well. And you can get some pretty good distance with those pack baits. Hold them? Here, why don't you go put them in the water, Tommy? All right. He was just gonna sneak off into the darkness, <laughs> get his massive fish, and send me a selfie when he was done. That's a nice yeah, one. That's a nice channel. Not too shabby, I'll man. Take it. <laughs> All, right. All right, let's get him back in. Yep. Like you meant to. <laughs> oh, yeah, they love those boilies. Oh, no. I don't think I've ever met a boilie that wouldn't catch catfish. Really? That sounds good. Oh. <laughs> Oh, nice one. Oh, my one. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Thank you, guys. You're nice. Ooh. 24. Oh. Hey, uh. <laughs> Ooh, Jeff, Jeff, creamer. Jeff. That's an excellent photo bombing. <laughs> <laughs> give them to Mr. Jeff there. That we literally just yeah, there you go. Like, it just died down. You just got to give him a little time. Then <laughs> we go. Nice, man. No matter how small. I think. Yep. Fish is fish. <laughs> it's so cute. Get it real close to the camera. <laughs> oh, it's huge. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this still counts as one, Luke. That's like seven, man. You're you're rocking us. The struggle just sitting on you can play so many tricks with you. Oh yeah, it does. What the heck? That little he thing took the it. line like that? <laughs> that would be See, the nice really thing about scary. these twelve foot rods is you can hold it closer to the camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tom. The nose is on my self. Oh! Oh! I'm going to try. Okay. You stay warm, okay, buddy? Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Oh, he's po boy size, at yeah. least. <laughs> yep. It's a small grass cart, but it's a very nice channel cat. <laughs> When I got ready for bed, I pulled out my Delcom TXI receiver so that I could know if I was getting any bites while I was sleeping warm and safe in my tent. Do you have any idea what time of day it is? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like number eight for you or something, man. You're tearing them up. Oh, yeah. That's... Oh, that feels like what we came for. Look at that. 21 and a half pounds. Beautiful grass carp woke me up. There's frost on the unhooking mat. It's cold. This is worth getting up for. What a beauty. Got duck cam. Another good channel. Nice little channel. On the boilie, right? Yep, on the boilie. What Brandon's using, it's a pop up boilie. It's a little round baked bait that floats, and he's got a little split shot under his hook, so this floats just a few inches off the mucky bottom. Keeps your bait off the bottom right there at mouth level for the fish. And they suck that sucker in and 
nails them. Then you got about a three ounce lead there. Very nice classic carp fishing rig right there, but it also catches a lot of catfish. So Brandon, what do you what are you using there? This is soybean meal pack bait. Awesome. Just, yep, just soybean meal, a couple cans of cream corn. Packs pretty good. Nice. It smells awesome, man. Yeah, it does you're just you're just crushing those, man. Oh, I'm sorry. I've got a I've got a fish to deal with. So that's a method lead. It's flat on one side. It's got ribs on the other. About four inch leader. Some fake corn. It's a really great setup. I use that one a lot. Nice advantage of this is it it always lands right side up. So you stick your hook on the top and you don't have to worry about the lead flipping upside down and and covering your hook. It's a doggy. Oh, come on, let's play tag. He wants to play tag with us. I was using several different types of method leads on this trip, including this Corda method lead, which is weighted, and it's able to hold a lot more pack bait than some of the other ones. The extra weight improves the hook set and improves the casting distance, and because the weight is asymmetrical, it makes it so that the lead doesn't flip over on top of your hook. Oh, that feels proper. Say cheese, Tommy. Cheese. Let's go. You ready? Yeah, go. Hey, doggy. I have a tree. I'm good. I'm good. Close that dog. Attack me. Oh, he's going to poop. He's, he's going to poop? On days, the doggy's back, Daddy. You want to ride on the doggy's back? Yeah. I think you're a little big for that. Might hurt the doggy. I might squish the doggy's poop out. Oh, it's nice. Isn't it? What a great trip! Me and Tommy had a great time camping out in the bivy. Caught some awesome carp and loads of catfish. Had great company, made some new friends, and uh, we just had a great time. Well, hopefully you like these tips to catching grass carp and catfish, and I'm going to put a link to Team Wild Water's YouTube channel here in the description, so you can check out some of their great carp fishing videos. And thanks for watching. Well, I hope you liked this video, and if you'd like to check out some other great videos, check out How to Catch Grass Carp Off the Surface, and another great video using pack baits to catch loads of carp from my boat. If you like what you see, don't forget to click subscribe and I'm going to put links to these videos in the video description.